The James Webb Telescope, humanity's latest eye in the sky, has just received an alarming signal from the Andromeda Galaxy. Amidst the vast expanse, two giants have always stood out, the Milky Way, which is our home, and the enigmatic Andromeda Galaxy. We thought we had ages before their paths crossed, but guess what? They're already on a collision course. Two massive galaxies, one unexpected twist. As the universe plays its unpredictable games, join us to decode the biggest cosmic revelation of our time. The Milky Way, our home in this vast universe, is more than just a sprinkle of stars across the night sky. It's a sprawling galaxy filled with stars, planets, and mysteries that have captivated us for ages. But what do we really know about it? Rewind to ancient times, and our ancestors looked up, seeing the Milky Way as a mere smudge of light. They marveled at it, spun tales around it, but its true nature remained ambiguous. Then came Galileo Galilei in the 17th century, armed with a telescope that would change our understanding forever. Instead of a hazy band, he revealed the Milky Way to be a dense collection of stars, each shining with its own light. This was groundbreaking. The Milky Way wasn't just a feature in the sky, it was a vast star-filled expanse. But the revelations didn't stop there. Fast forward to the early 20th century, and Edwin Hubble takes the stage. With the powerful Hooker telescope, he peered deeper into the cosmos than anyone before. What he found was astonishing. Those faint patches of light, once believed to be part of our Milky Way, were actually entire galaxies of their own. The universe, it turned out, was much bigger and more wondrous than we'd ever imagined. So, from a simple band of light to a galaxy among countless others, our understanding of the Milky Way has come a long way. And with each discovery, we've realized our place in a universe that's grander than anything we once pictured. While our Milky Way has been a familiar sight, there's another galaxy that's been drawing eyes for centuries, Andromeda. This neighboring giant has its own tale, one that's interlinked with human curiosity and the quest for knowledge. Long before telescopes mapped our landscapes, ancient astronomers gazed up and noticed a peculiar smudge in the night sky. This smudge, first spotted by the Persian astronomer Al-Rahman al-Sufi, was described as a small cloud, a distant and blurry patch. Little did he know, he was looking at an entire galaxy. As centuries rolled on, this cloud was catalogued as M31, but it wasn't until later that it was given the name Andromeda, named after a mythological princess, adding a touch of poetic aspect to our neighboring galaxy. But how does Andromeda measure up against our Milky Way? For a long time, it was believed that Andromeda dwarfed our galaxy in size, but as technology advanced, so did our understanding. The Webb Telescope, with its unparalleled vision, gave us a clearer picture. It turns out Andromeda and the Milky Way are more like cosmic siblings, with Andromeda being only slightly more massive. The James Webb didn't just give us measurements, it provided a deeper insight into Andromeda's structure, composition and its place in the universe. Beyond its huge expanse of stars and cosmic dust, Andromeda holds secrets that have both baffled and intrigued astronomers. One of the most captivating features of this galaxy is the supermassive black hole at its heart. Imagine a region in space so dense, so powerful, that nothing, not even light, can escape its grasp. This massive black hole weighing in at a staggering 110 million times the mass of our Sun, sits at the very core of Andromeda, pulling and shaping the galaxy around it. It's not just a void, it's an active galactic nucleus, emitting intense light and radiation, a beacon signaling its mighty presence. But Andromeda isn't just about its black hole. 
Scattered throughout this galaxy are what astronomers call globular clusters. These aren't just any groups of stars. They're tightly knit families of stars bound together by gravity. Each cluster, some containing millions of stars, tells a story of the galaxy's history. They're like cosmic time capsules, holding clues about the conditions and events that shaped Andromeda over billions of years. And speaking of history, Andromeda's past is nothing short of dramatic. It might look serene from our vantage point, but this galaxy has seen its fair share of cosmic clashes. In fact, it's believed that Andromeda isn't just a single entity. It's a product of several smaller galaxies that were drawn into its gravitational pull. Over billions of years, these galaxies merged with Andromeda, each adding to its size, structure and complexity. This process, often termed as galactic cannibalism, isn't just a quirky term. It's an illustration of the dynamic, ever-evolving nature of the universe. Hey, spacers! Before you go exploring planets eating each other, please take a deep breath and click the subscribe button, like and share the video with your friends. Thank you for spacing out with us and now enjoy the feast. Galactic cannibalism might sound like a term from a sci-fi movie, but it's a real and crucial process in our universe. Simply put, it's when a big galaxy pulls in and absorbs a smaller one. This isn't just about galaxies getting bigger, it's how they evolve and change over time. But how does it happen? Think of a small galaxy getting too close to a big one. The larger galaxy's gravity starts pulling at the smaller one. Over time, the smaller galaxy gets torn apart and its stars, dust and gas become part of the bigger galaxy. It's a way galaxies grow, not just by making new stars, but by taking in stars from other galaxies. Our Milky Way has been part of this process. Over its long history, it's pulled in about a dozen smaller galaxies. These events have added stars and changed the shape and spin of the Milky Way. Now, here's the big news. Our Milky Way and the Andromeda Galaxy are heading towards each other. But it's not going to be a big crash like in the movies. In space, collision often means merging. The two galaxies will pull at each other and slowly become one. With both being about the same size, it's hard to predict the outcome. Will one take over the other, or will they form a completely new galaxy? This isn't just a distant future event. The early signs, as revealed by the James Webb Telescope, indicate that the process has already begun. As we stand on our little blue planet, gazing up, we're not just spectators, we're part of a galaxy that's actively participating in the grand, mysterious and ever-evolving story of the universe. The impending collision between the Milky Way and Andromeda is not just a cosmic event, it's a depiction of the dynamic nature of our universe. But what does this mean for us, the inhabitants of a tiny planet within one of these galaxies? First, let's understand the scale. Space is vast, and while galaxies are enormous, they're mostly empty. The stars within them are like grains of sand scattered across a vast desert. So, when two galaxies collide, it's not a crash in the traditional sense. Instead, it's a gravitational interplay, where the two galaxies collide and merge into each other over billions of years. But, as these two giants approach each other, there will be ripple effects. The gravitational forces at play will tug at everything within their reach. Stars might be flung into new orbits, and some might even be ejected from their galaxies altogether, set adrift in the vast expanse of intergalactic space. Gas clouds could collide and compress, sparking a burst of new star formation, lighting up the skies with the birth of countless new suns. For our solar system, nestled in one of the outer arms of the Milky Way, the effects are uncertain. 
While we're far from the central regions where the most dramatic interactions will occur, the gravitational waves from the merger could still reach us. This might disrupt the orbits of planets, potentially affecting our climate. The Sun, our primary source of energy and life, might find itself in a different position within the new galaxy, changing our perspective of the night sky forever. And what about Earth? Our planet has faced cosmic challenges before, from asteroid impacts to solar flares. But a galactic merger is on a whole different scale. While the direct effects might be minimal, there could be indirect consequences. For instance, if our Sun gets too close to another star, it could disrupt the Oort Cloud, a region at the edge of our solar system filled with icy bodies. This disruption could send comets hurtling towards the inner solar system, posing potential threats to Earth. But it's not all doom and gloom. Such a cosmic event could also offer opportunities. The burst of new star formation could lead to the creation of new planetary systems. Who knows? Future generations might even find new worlds to explore, study or even colonize. In the end, the collision between the Milky Way and Andromeda is a reminder of our ever-changing universe. It's a story of transformation, of chaos and order, and of the endless possibilities that await us in the vast cosmos. While we measure our lives in years and decades, the universe operates on a timeline spanning billions of years. This vast difference between the cosmic and human timescales can sometimes make events like the impending collision between the Milky Way and Andromeda seem distant, even irrelevant. But are they really? Imagine for a moment the legacy we're leaving for future generations. While the merger might not affect us directly, our descendants, millions of years from now, could find themselves in a vastly different cosmic neighborhood. The night sky they gaze upon might be filled with new constellations, unfamiliar star clusters, and perhaps even new planets or moons brought into our solar system's vicinity by the gravitational dance of the merging galaxies. The stories, myths, and legends they introduce might be centered around this new celestial panorama. But how do we know all this? How can we predict events that are set to occur millions of years in the future? Enter modern technology. Instruments like the James Webb Telescope have revolutionized our understanding of the cosmos. Positioned far from Earth's distorting atmosphere, this marvel of engineering peers deep into space, capturing images and data with unparalleled clarity. It's through such advanced observatories that we've been able to monitor the slow approach of Andromeda, gaining insights into the mechanics of the impending merger. The James Webb Telescope and others like it serve as our eyes into the distant universe. They bridge the gap between the human and cosmic timescales, allowing us a glimpse into the future, even if it's a future we might never personally witness. These technological marvels remind us of our quest for knowledge, our insatiable curiosity, and our place in the grand cosmic story. As the Milky Way and Andromeda inch closer, we're reminded of the vastness and mysteries of the universe. Our journey through space and time is intertwined with cosmic events beyond our immediate grasp. But as we peer into the depths of space, one can't help but wonder what other cosmic mysteries await us just beyond the horizon. Hey spacers, what do we think? Are we still going to be around when Andromeda comes? Imagine that. And while you do, please subscribe and click the bell to be notified of new and awesome space content and let your imagination run wild. Thank you for spacing out with us and see you next video.